everybody! I'm Miss Melanie. I'm a children's librarian with Dakota County Library and I'm back with more tips and tips for you and your baby. Now I have baby Aiden, a doll here today to help me demo some of these songs that we'll be singing. We'll be focusing on some more bouncy songs today. Bouncy songs are a great way to slow down songs or to enforce that rhythm or those syllables so baby can start to, to slow down the words as we sing it and they can start understanding those different parts of speech. So that's why we really love songs and we really love bouncy songs. I like to bounce with both of my legs out. Maybe you're more comfortable with just one leg out or in a chair, whatever makes you comfortable. This first song is very playful. You might wanna have baby facing you. It's called Bounce and Bounce and Bounce and Stop. It's to the tune of Skip to My Loo. And here we go. Bounce and bounce and bounce and stop. Bounce and bounce and bounce and stop. Bounce and bounce and bounce and stop. Bounce and bounce and lift off. And there is a raise at the end. That is why I like to have both my legs out. It stabilizes you and you can use your core a little more to lift baby. You can always just raise your arms instead of lifting baby or raise baby's arms. We'll do it one more time. Bounce and bounce and bounce and stop. Bounce and bounce and bounce and stop. Bounce and bounce and bounce and stop. Bounce and bounce and lift off. Great job. And I do like to do some positive re-encouragement at the end of songs, as well as repeating them a lot, because repetition is kind of the same idea as singing. You're repeating those parts of speech, and it's helping babies start to recognize words, get them ready to start babbling and talking and all of those great things. I'm gonna put baby Aiden down for a moment and discuss these great books I have in front of me today. First, Never Touch a Porcupine. This is a series of books. They feature different animals in each of them. This one is Porcupine. And if you can see, it is a board book, a cardboard page book. So it's nice and sturdy. And it also has this tactile element, the soft plastic. That's different, uh, it has different feeling different patterns on each pages. So as you read the story, baby can also engage with that extra sensory factor in there. So that's very nice. Never touch a porcupine. And for sensory toys, maybe at home you might have bean bags. Great for sound, for touch. Bean bags are great, but maybe you don't have a bean bag. That's fine. We all might have some winter hats lying around the house right now. Maybe we're putting them away. Especially winter hats with these extra pom-poms, these have extra features on them. It is actually a great sensory toy for baby. Baby can feel the soft knit or squeeze the pom-pom and see the shape go small, small to big. Not grasping of their hands. So that's a fun idea as well. My other book today is Who Says Peekaboo? So this book encourages the game Peekaboo, which is a wonderful game to play with baby. And at the very end, there is a mirror. Now, a mirror is fantastic for babies. It's very engaging for them. They will stare at it and be very curious and be shocked when the image they see does the same movement as them. So mirrors are very fun for a baby. What I also love about this book is it has real pictures and it also does have some illustrations. And that's actually a great idea for a craft you can do. You can take photos of baby. Maybe you already have photos, maybe of you as well. And you can make your own photo book. And within that photo book, that scrapbook, you can add text or maybe some illustrations, maybe some thumbprints. You could turn those thumbprints into animals. 
So that could be a fun art project for you and your baby. That would become a keepsake and something very special. So those are the two books featured today. We are going to do another bouncy rhyme. This bouncy rhyme is something that you can switch out the words to anything and you can make this a song for any part of the day or what you're doing. So it's a, a bouncing we will go, a bouncing we will go, hi ho the dare yo, a bouncing we will go. And the way we can change that is say you're going on a walk, you're giving baby a walk in the stroller. A walking we will go, a walking we will go, hi ho the dairy, oh, a walking we will go. Brushing your teeth, brushing your teeth, brush you we will go, brushing your teeth, we will go all day, all night, brushing your teeth, we will go. So let's just make up funny songs that is playful for baby. It's also repetition. You're repeating those tunes but with different words. So it's a way to engage baby in all sorts of different levels as their little brain is growing. I hope you learned something new today. All of our previous videos you can find on our Dakota County Library Facebook page and I will be back next week with more tips for you and your baby. Bye!